I'm Katie Chen. I'm a food blogger, a cookbook author, and a working mom. My cooking videos are all about fast, fresh, and fabulous Asian recipes that anyone can make at home. Hi, I'm Katie Chin, and welcome to the Sweet and Sour Chronicles. Today I'm making Oh My Shu Mai. If you've ever had dim sum, then you know Shu Mai is the open faced dumpling that's steamed and super yummy. Today I'm making it with my special friend, Hello Kitty. I have a special friendship with Hello Kitty. Some say obsession. To know me is to love me, and to love me is to love my obsession with Hello Kitty. So we're going to get started. Shumai is actually very healthy and very easy to make. We're going to start with some ground chicken. I just bought this at the grocery store. Some chopped up shrimp. If you want to make these just with chicken, that's totally fine, or just with shrimp. Sometimes I substitute the chicken with turkey or pork sometimes too. Some black mushrooms. I mince these up. A little bit of white pepper, some sesame oil for flavoring, a bit of cornstarch, a bit of salt, some minced carrots. I do a lot of this prep actually in my food processor, it saves a lot of time. Some vegetable oil, a little bit of minced ginger. and some white onion. I'm just going to stir all of this together so it's well blended. That's great too because you can put this filling in the freezer. It's great for entertaining. If you don't have fresh ginger, you can use the frozen cubes they sell sometimes or the fresh ginger that's sold in a tube in the produce section. That works pretty well. Okay. Now that our filling's made, I'm gonna go ahead and fold our shumai. Now we're starting with our shumai wrappers. You can buy these usually at the grocery store. Sometimes they're called pot sticker wrappers. You can just cut with a cookie cutter to make them a round shape if they're sold square. We just take a skin. Then I'm putting about a tablespoon of filling in the center. And I'm gonna spread it out a bit like so. Now, it's a good thing my mom was a seamstress because she could do pleats really well and she taught me how to do this with the most intricate pleats. So we just wrap the sides of the shumai wrapper up around the filling and make tiny little pleats like so. Now practice makes perfect and no matter how they come out, they will taste delicious, I promise. There we go. So then I just flatten the top with my spoon. And I'll continue rolling these up until the filling's done. Now I'm getting ready to steam the shumai. I just lined a bamboo steamer with some parchment paper. As you can see, we cut little holes so the steam could flow through. So you don't want to put too many shumai in the steamer or else they'll all stick together. You want to make sure whenever you're steaming to make sure the water is at a rolling boil. I'm using a bamboo steamer here, but you could use any steamer that you have at home. I'm just gonna stick these in here. Cover it tightly and steam them for about 12 minutes. Now that I have 12 minutes to kill, I could um, tell you all the reasons I love Hello Kitty. Reason number one, I love Hello Kitty because she's so friendly. I love Hello Kitty because she's so pretty. Because she has such a beautiful face. She's so kind. She smells just like apples, warm, furry. She makes me smile. Reason 139, I love Hello Kitty so much because she speaks from the heart just like dim sum, which literally means to touch the heart. I can't wait to try these, and I'm actually bringing them to my friend's house in just a couple minutes. Whoo! I just love that shoe my facial. Okay, here we go. If you wanna freeze these, you can just steam them for about 10 minutes, freeze them, and then just heat them up for about five to six minutes. I love how pretty the shrimp is, nice and pink, and the pop of the carrots. Gorgeous. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a fun way to garnish these. I'm just putting a little cilantro leaf on top of each one. And then I'm gonna dot them 
with an eensy beensy teensy cute piece of red pepper. Adorable. So pretty. I'm gonna serve these with a soy scallion dipping sauce. This is just a little soy sauce with some sugar and some scallion. But of course, I wanna try one before I take off. Mm. It's down here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my. That's some good shumai. <laughs> For the complete recipe, go to my blog, thesweetandsourchronicles.com. Tell me which dumplings you love the most. Subscribe to my blog and comment below. Until then, happy cooking! Please check out my latest cookbook, Everyday Thai Cooking, available on Amazon and fine booksellers everywhere.